I told Henry, and let's be honest, that if I retire and I don't meet certain expectations, I'll give him a thousand anytime push-ups. That's how confident I am that I am going to take this title, self-proclaimed title, of greatest combat athlete of all time. I said, listen, I said, this is all I want from you. When I take that title, when, it's not an if, it's a when, it's a matter of time. When I take that title, you owe me a hundred anytime push-ups and I would like you to bend the knee. What you got to say about that, Henry? I'll take the bet. <laughs> Because, the because there's he only the one, bet. because he there's only the one Olympic champ, flyweight champ, and bantamweight champion in the world. Men, women, and children could all bend the knee to Triple C. And you can confirm you are still the flyweight champ, right? We didn't get it. I'm the only man in human history to defend his belt while on the couch. What do you think about that? It's pretty impressive. Hey, hey, hey! What was it? It's only Triple hey, C, man. Hey, hey. It's only what Triple was your, C. What was your second Olympic team like? How did that feel? <laughs> How was it? It doesn't your matter. Your second doesn't Olympic. It oh my, wait, he didn't go to the Olympics twice. That's right, I forgot, I'm sorry. Hey, what was it like to win a world uh, title on, in hold wrestling? On, hold on, hold on. How did it feel? Do you remember being on top of that podium? Do you remember what it felt like? I remember, only, I remember, I remember being the That's youngest right. in history right. to win oh an God. Olympic gold medal. Were you the first, were you the first American to ever oh, win a title oh, for your country? The first American, man or woman? What did that I feel like? Oh wait, you didn't do it. I'm the first of everything, I'm one of one. Wait, wait, serious question. One Olympic wrestling gold medal is like five Judo Olympic gold Same medals. Thing. Pound for pound, wrestling is the toughest sport in the world. And on top of that, I got two UFC belts, One Kayla. Question. Bend the knee. Bend the Henry, knee. Henry, which is, sir, which is better, <laughs> Judo or wrestling, in your opinion? I love wrestling, but if you watch like outside UFC, everything, like Judo, high level. Judo is high level. My opinion, judo is class. You know, judo is class. class. What's harder? What's harder? No, 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 no. That's What's harder? Question I have. No more questions, please. Only one question, guys. Only one Only question. Only one question. Thank you. You guys just have to hear it through me. You guys have to hear the answer from the greatest combat athlete of all time. Khabib don't have my credentials either. Nor does John Jones. Nor does Demetrius Johnson. It's Triple C. And here we go. My next opponent after Jose Baldo is I want to go after that overgrown midget, Alexander Volkanovsky. So if you're watching this, you're the next to bend the knee to Triple C. Third belt, that's what you want. Third belt, absolutely I want that third belt. I want to make history, man. I want to do things that nobody's ever done before. And I believe, I, really, I truly do believe I am the greatest combat athlete of all time. And if you ask people individually, ask John Jones, ask Khabib Bergamadoff, ask all these guys that, you, that, that, that defend these titles like 10,000 times, ask them what's more impressive. And that's it, man. I, I want to continue to keep making history, man. Defending belts is cool, but for me, man, I want to. I, I, I love challenging. I love climbing new mountains. And if I can, and if I can beat that overgrown midget of Alexander Volkanovsky, I'll die happy. You think he'll beat Max Holloway again if they fight? I think so. I think so. I think. I think uh, he, he's a smart fighter. He's in and out. I thought he won all five rounds against uh, against uh, Max. against Max Holloway, and the only reason why I really never called out Max is because I'm also realistic too. I mean, the dude's a freaking giant. I wanted to get a little more fights to eventually maybe maybe do that call out, but dude, the dude's towers me by I don't know two feet. <laughs> He's fights that lightweight. He's fought lightweight. Before. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, okay, so obviously you know you addressed it a bit during the press conference, the criticism of this matchup with Jose Aldo. Defend it for us. Tell us why this was the right fight to make. It was the right fight to make because he's a legend. The only people that, that, that Jose Baldo has ever lost to has been nothing but the best. I mean, Jose Aldo, you have never heard of him losing to a, either a former champion, a champion, or somebody along those lines. And my whole thing is I would like to add Demetrius Johnson, the greatest flyweight of all time, uh, TJ Dillashaw, the greatest bantamweight of all time, and then Jose, Jose Aldo, the greatest featherweight of all time. You know, I'm, I'm snatching everybody's legacies. And I don't think you're getting enough credit for the fact that you're fighting him in Brazil. You're going to his backyard to do this. Uh, is this something that excites you? I know you have some roots and you know, training partners and stuff like that in Brazil too. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like I am Brazil. I feel like the Brazilian people, I feel like they embrace it. As far as I'm concerned, I think Jose Ball is from Paraguay. So I'm out here, I'm fighting in front of my people. I, you, did you see my promo? I did. There you go. Daddy's coming home, Brazil. Daddy's coming home.
And then if it is at 35 after this, or maybe even 25, you're saying you could go back down there. Uh, who's the most likely next fight if it's not that third belt for Volkanovski? Because, you know, who knows if they are willing to give you that third belt opportunity. And flyweight bantam. I'm taking anybody from 99 pounds to 149 pounds so they can all get it. It's the, it's the, trep, it's the, it's the triple C weight division. Is uh, Davis and Figueredo going to beat Joseph Benavidez again if they fight again? If he makes the way, I mean, you really, being 2.5 pounds over in a championship fight, that's cheating, man. Like, I, you think about it, it's not, it's not, so, it's not the weight, it's, it's the conditioning that comes with it. It's the fact that you're going to have to dread 2.5 pounds, dehydrate, try to get that off. So, I think that's what, uh, I think that's the biggest thing. So, Joe did lose, but Figueredo did not win. And I did defend my bout on the couch. And last question, just send a message to all the Triple C fans, all the people who are going to be tuned into UFC 250, yeah. why they should watch. Yeah, whether you guys want to watch or not, which I know they're all going to watch, Triple C is going to be serving GOAT on May 9th. So I hope all you Brazilians, hope you guys didn't eat too much for Carnival because I'm going to be serving GOAT. Thanks, champ. Appreciate you.